Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, it is about Oblivion and we're going to talk about claymores and how to use claymores. Now, the claymores are that set of weapons that not a lot of people use unless they most likely are messing around. They're the two-handed swords, they're very heavy, very slow, but very long range and very hard hitting. In fact, in terms of raw damage, I'm pretty sure the Diedrich Claymore does the most normal damage unless it's Umbra. I'm, I don't know that off the top of my head. I know that you can enchant a Diedrich Claymore and it will basically end up doing the most damage you can have a sword do. Um, unless you have a mod that allows you to disenchant Umbra, which in that case you should always disenchant Umbra because Soul Trap is meh. So, Claymores. They're two-handed swords that have long distance. What does this mean? Well, sometimes, um, like if I'm fighting an enemy and there's a fence in front of me, you can outrange them and keep them at the fence and get a couple hits off of them. I believe I've done this, what have I done this with? I've done this with tables before, where I'll be fighting an enemy who has like a dagger or something, and the claymore will do damage across the table and they can't do anything about it because they have a dagger. So it's really nice, the claymore, for that range. And I think the range is really nice because it allows you to get, if you fight an enemy with a dagger or fist, it allows you to get a hit off of them or maybe a power attack before they get into combat range to start beating you up. Now the claymore, it's heavy, which means that you know, you're not going to really, really be holding anything, but the Claymore's heaviness kind of is outweighed by the fact, and no pun intended, that you don't have to carry a shield, so that weight goes away. So it's really just the Claymore is the shield and the sword put together and weight. Now, Claymores, you can block with them, yes. The only time that I actually use a Claymore block is to try to stagger an enemy. Like, I don't, or or bump, or buff my endurance. Like, I think that claymore blocks in general I don't use just because it's a claymore, not a shield. Um, I wouldn't sit there, like, sometimes I will use potions that are restore health and, like, block people. Or have a, a spell reflection shield or something like that and just heal up a little bit. Or maybe I have to identify the situation and be blocking. Um, the claymore, it's interesting... In a higher difficulty setting, a shield can be really useful because you can use it to identify, you know, situations, openings, where the weakest enemy is, you know, really quick. Claymores, you can do that by just swinging at an enemy and getting them away from you. And you can block sometimes, it's not going to be as effective. And I think that's where the Claymore weaknesses is, is blocking. But the strengths, lots of power behind a Claymore, especially in the early game. The early game... Claymores can be very powerful, same with the late game, and you buff it with, you know, the enchantments that you can put on them, and you can get yourself a real beast of a sword. Claymores are also fun to use. I don't know the exact stats. I'm pretty sure that the Claymores and Hammers have a bigger chance to knock back. I'm not too sure on that. It just seems like it to me that they have higher knockback. It, it's very pre it's very obvious that if you fight someone with a hammer or a claymore, you fall down more. Just, just putting that out there. But really, what I like to use claymores for is, like I said, that outreach stuff, but just to have fun. Like, claymores are such a cool, random weapon that you can make a beast character out of that it's always worth it to experiment with them every once in a while. My general thing is, if I just want to play Oblivion and not have to think so much, I use a Claymore. That's what I do. I use a Claymore or a Hammer. I don't really like the big two-handed axes, but I use a Hammer or a Claymore. And it's just nice because it's a big weapon, you have a long range of effect. Like I think the strength is a long range of effect. You can get hits off without getting into combat range, which outweighs the block. So if you if you um, use, if you like the play style of go in, get a couple hits and go out, Claymore is perfect for you because it's built with less blocking in mind and more of that going in, not getting hit, but hitting the enemy. That's what the Claymore is used for. 
So, but I like it personally just to chill and just use a weapon that I don't have to think about because Claymore is a beast. And that's really it. Would I use this in a high level situation? No. I don't think Claymores are very good for high level situation because sometimes enemies just get really, really fast if they're scary. But I'd like to know what you guys think about Claymores in the comments below. I don't have much to say about them. I think it's still worth it to talk about them because... I feel like the two-handed weapons get gypped when it comes to Oblivion just because it's very obvious that using a weapon and a shield is infinitely better than a two-handed weapon, but it's still worth it to talk about the two-handed weapons. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Blog or Steam it Post of whatever I decide to make.